This is nine kilograms lighter. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Dave here, how are you? I'm gonna go through the B300K now that I've had it for about a month. So I've got two of them sitting here. I've got one up the top here for you to see it all in its glory, and another one down here to show the connection ports for connecting into either the AC500, 300, 200 series. Okay, now, on the end here, I've got an AC500, and down here, I've got a B300 and a B300S, just to compare the sizes. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is, you saw what arrived in the box when I did the unboxing, except for, to let you know, this is 29 kilos. The B300 and B300S are 38 kilograms. The B300S is 38 kilograms. This is nine kilograms lighter. That's a hell of a lot lighter. For old people like me, or if you've got an RV and you don't want to carry that extra nine or 18 kilos, if you get two of these or four or six, six nines, that's 54 kilograms less weight for a very, very small sacrifice of capacity in kilowatt hours of storage. Let me go through this again. This guy, the B300K has got two and three quarter kilowatt hours of storage. The B300 and B300S have got just over three kilowatt hours of storage. So quarter of a kilowatt hour, so around 250 to 300 watt hours of storage, less for nine kilos less. This is a slightly different chemistry, although it is still a lithium ion phosphate battery. The other thing that's interesting about this, this has got a warranty of 4,000 cycles, where the other guys down here have got a warranty of three and a half thousand cycles. When I asked Blue Eddy why, they said this is a more commercial grade battery, which I thought sounded great. Now, when they say three and a half thousand or 4,000 cycles, after that, they're not dead. You don't throw them away. These are now down to 80% of their original capacity. But that's basically four-fifths if you want to work it out that way. You do the sums and you'll see this has still got more than two and a quarter kilowatt hours capacity after 4,000 cycles. That's a lot of time. That's 10 years if you recycle it every day. It's around that. In the box you saw it came with a PO90A. Uh, if you want to use this with the AC500, you must get a different cable. It's an accessory. I think it's about $100 in Australia. And that is the P150D to P090D cable. And I've got these down the front here. And I'm going to show you how pushing them in uh, and the different little peculiarities with them. This, this has got a 70 amp discharge capacity which is fantastic. Now, one of the other things, if you want to mix and match putting the B300K with the B300S or the B300, there are some rules. You can't have the three different types of battery in a daisy chain. It's advisable not to hook up the three different types, uh, even though it's possible, but don't do it. Okay, so they, sub they advise if you're going to use, let's say four, of the B300 batteries and two of the B300Ks to feed in as six batteries into the AC500. Do the two B300s first and then put the B300K at the end of the daisy chain. That way the AC500 will recognize the B300 that are in the list. If you put the B300s at the end and not the B300K, the AC500 may not recognize the B300s. Just something that I thought I'd throw in there, a little bit of research. Now, why do I like this setup? I, we have an appliance that pulls 15 amps and the AC500 feeds that brilliantly. Now we have it plugged in for 10 hours. It's a long, long haul for these guys to go through. We do charge them during the day via pass-through. Okay, so we've got a lot of solar panels on the property, 85 of them to be exact. And so we've got AC coming in. It would have just gone to the grid. Why throw it away? I would rather have it come in through the AC 500. It's got a bypass. It goes straight through to our appliance. Then in the afternoon when we lose the sun, the batteries all kick in and run for another three or four hours. Perfect. This is happening 
four or five times a week. Uh, so we have really put these batteries through a test and they've all gone perfectly. Next thing to do is come around the front and we'll connect all these cables up and I'll show you exactly which cables they are and how they work with the different batteries and the AC500. This is the PO90A cable, 90 amps to 90 amps. One of the curious things that they've done with the B300K is instead of going in flat, it's turned sideways. So it will go in like so. And also remember, once you've connected all of your batteries up to your AC unit, you must engage the lock button. Otherwise, the, the cables are not going to let the batteries communicate with the AC unit. Now I can connect this to a B300 or to another B300K. I can't connect using this cable to the AC500. I can use it to connect to the AC300 and the smaller units, and it won't let me connect to a B300S either. So for that, we need to have a cable that will do the conversion. And it's just here, and this is 150. 90. That is your adapter cable. This lets the B300K plug into a B300S or the AC500. Handy cable to have. Of course, then you've got the 150 to 150 cable, which is P150D. So this is 150 amps to 150 amps. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you think in the comments down the bottom. And uh, if you want to get any of these things, I think I've got some links down there for you as well. They normally throw up some specials. Go in through the link and you might find some specials as well. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.